بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين In this session I am going to talk about challenges at home challenges that normally we face without having a feeling or understanding that they exist or we don't talk about them The first challenge that we meet is a choice of the parent Any child when born he has no choice what about his parents or the place he was born in so these choices we have we cannot make so I'm going to talk about them because they might lead to your understanding of their effect on our life and also they might this discussion might lead to your decision in the future because now I talk to you as youth but as youth you will grow up and you will have your own family and you have to have this take decisions that affect your children and so let's see choosing a parent we have I'm going to have a session specifically for that and how to uh, decide on I mean on the choice of the partner in life but how does it affect the child or the, the child who will be who are now youth I'm talking to you as youth but it, it affected you for example if somebody is living in the West and he was born here or educated here and he decides to marry somebody from overseas, from his home country. Or, uh, he'll bring somebody here who does not speak the language, or even if he speaks the language, he does, and he does not understand the culture. He might be educated or she might be educated, but their education system is different from the education system in the West, the ideas, the concepts. So they will have difficulty in helping the child. Because normally any child will go to school and we, we learn from our parents in the beginning and then we go to school and it's a mix of both sides or both ways because if the child come home and his mother and his father cannot help him and what he's studying or cannot discuss with him and cannot not understand his problem or the problems he faces in the class he will have difficulty from early age so the choice of a parent is very crucial and very important in the uh, in raising children or in uh, educating children because this is a, I mean it's a, it, it has a great I mean even in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, says that uh, oh Allah please forgive them or arhamhuma as they raise me as a child as a young uh, person so it's it's very important that it has its own uh, uh, fingerprints on our life so choosing a uh, parent or the, the, the wife and the husband if they both born here and educated here life will be much easier because they can help if one of them comes from different culture it's a problem if both of them come from a different culture it's a big problem and if both of them does not speak the language that's will complicate the problem because the student will be uh, the child will be just facing the problem that nobody can help him so he looks at his parents they cannot help so he has only one uh, uh, way to learn through the school or through the society without any help from his parents so this is the first challenge we have or the person would uh, face at home the second uh, uh, challenge is uh, choosing the names Sometimes we insist on using our heritage names, our grandparents, our grandmothers, or, and these names might be odd, might be different, pronunciation, pronunciation and uh, writing, etc. In the class, the student will feel, and the child will feel that he's strange, or his name is strange. Or, I, I, I will say the Islamic culture is rich with names, with good names, that have good meanings. So we have to, I mean, uh, look for a good name because the name has effect on the personality of the person the choice of houses the child has no choice but his parent will decide the area where you live will affect your life will affect your friend will affect your style of living you, you, uh, because you will be brought up in the uh, society meeting with your neighbors kids and around you so uh, the choice of a house is very important and very crucial in the future of youth. Also, based on that, choice of the school. Because normally, in the West, the school is connected to the house. If you choose a bad area, the schools in general are not good. So, choosing the school 
first is based on the house, second is based on if there are different schools, you have to look for the school that have better uh, reputation because the school affect the child and the way they teach, the, the methods of teaching, uh, the lecture, uh, the teachers, the lifestyle of the students, uh, the community, because all of these will shape and will affect the mentality and the way we think and the way we behave. So it's very important that we give attention to choosing the right school. Also, the schooling system, is it going to be only Western school or is going to be Muslim school? In some countries, we have Muslim school, private, and Muslim school have another dimension that's complicating the situation because you bring kids from, from different community with different levels of thinking, of different levels of living, because not all Muslims live in the same way on the same or around the school. And this also brings another problem, another challenge, because this, this, our kids or young kids will be isolated from the large community if they see only Muslim, t Muslim students. Or, this is, I mean, this is very difficult. And also, if we are living in, in the Western system or Western society, and then we go to Western schools, and then we have a Sunday school that teach Islam and Arabic, or, or some countries have their national schools, this will bring another difficulty to the kids, because they will be stressed. They go to school for the whole week, and over the weekend they have uh, Arabic or Islamic school, or whatever, Pakistani school, or whatever, and this will make a, I mean, uh, present a challenge to them because they cannot have more time to see their friends or to enjoy life. So it's, uh, this is a very uh, important uh, aspect. Also, uh, choosing friends. Friends can affect the way because in some areas you, you have uh, people who have problems, people who are behaving not properly. So choosing a friend is very important, Choose, especially for different stages of life. Because we know in culture we have some difficulty in maintaining relations in long, for a long time with our friends and unless we choose them properly. Because why I say this? Because I was involved with the Muslim community. I have I raised my children in the West. They were born in the United States and they were raised in the, in Ireland. So and they were and they did go to Irish schools and I was very happy with the way they were educated and. Uh, because the end result was good, because the system is good. Also, uh, we have another aspect, which is the st style of life. The style of life, the way we live, is very important because it affects the, the way we uh, behave and the way we think and the way we live. We should participate in the uh, activities. We should have good relations with our neighbors. We should have Western uh, friends. We should go out and have picnics and uh, play sports and maybe visit gyms and be part of the uh, teams in the school. So, I mean, these interactions all adds up and all having a good uh, way of living and having satisfactory life and having good, I mean, successful way of, of, of living. Also, the other one, the choice of the mosque. Maybe the Muslim community is very important because to enrich our Iman and our faith. So where we should go to uh, choosing a mosque? There are some mosques which are, I mean, uh, apply only one sect or apply uh, traditional uh, Islamic way of their heritage land. We have a big problem in the mosque because the Imam might not speak the language. And the, the young generation speak only English. They might speak Arabic, but their way of understanding, the way, the way of communication is in English. That's the way they learn here. So if the Imam does not speak English and the people around him does not speak English, the youth will be lost in the mosque. There is no activity, there is no... In, because in the way I project or see it, the mosque should be a cultural center, should have uh, activities, should have a small library where people uh, can study or uh, borrow books, it should have some sport area and should have some uh, teams like football teams and participate with other uh, schools and churches, whatever, 
and should have organized swimming lessons for ladies and for I mean, for girls and for boys. And we should live in the West as the West and uh, Western people live. We should not be isolated and just uh, try to live in the traditional way without being part of the society as a whole. Because these, all of these aspects will add to our success in life. Because if, let's say, politics, many uh, parents and many mosques try to enrich the political ideas they brought from their homelands. And this Western society, uh, being a part of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood or Da'wah or uh, whatever, Salafi or Madkhali, or, has no meaning. It has no value, it has no base here. Here you should be a good Western Muslim. I mean, that understand the culture of the West and practice Islam in a way that uh, will present, because uh, we should present a good image for Islam for the Western community and we should be part of the Western community. We should behave and think and uh, uh, uplift our way of uh, understanding Islam to absorb or to contribute to the society as a whole. This is, I mean, this is the simplest uh, uh, projection of challenges at home. I might go back to it because we will reflect on this when we talk about uh, other uh, problems. Normally, it's all of them uh, have some connection with the home. At the end of this session, I would like uh, everybody to subscribe and to uh, communicate with me. And because I, I cannot say what's the solution for every problem, but we can uh, uh, enlighten or uh, project uh, uh, light on the problem and we both together and some of the problems I might not know, I might not know because I, I, I try to use my experience and the experience of the families around me to give you some ideas but your contribution is very valuable so you can communicate with me as I mentioned on the Facebook and also by emails and we'll keep going on at the end of this uh, session i will say assalamu alaikum and we will meet again inshallah